Hey, so today we're gonna talk about why you crave chocolate right before your period. And this is fascinating because I'm always saying how freaking smart our body is and how cravings to me, they are like the Morse code of the body when it's trying to tell you that you're lacking certain nutrients or you have certain deficiencies in your body. So I freaking love cravings. And before I deep dive into why you crave chocolate before your period, I have to say that if you have cravings throughout the month, especially carbs and sugary um, cravings, that that means that your blood sugar might be out of balance. And the thing is, like when your blood sugar is imbalanced, then that's the first and most important uh, cause for hormonal imbalance right doesn't matter the root cause the root cause of your hormonal imbalances when your blood sugar is out of balance then that is as i said as like a dominoes effect towards the rest of your hormones so it's something you have to keep in mind and how you know that you have a blood sugar imbalance is when you get hangry in between meals you know when you're like hungry but angry at the same time when you get those 3 p.m crashes when your energy is low all the time when you feel you you finish eating and you don't feel full um, when you have brain fog all those are symptoms associated to blood sugar imbalance okay so i want you to keep that in mind because if you have cravings throughout the whole month then this is something you need to check because again when you fix your blood sugar then a lot of the things in your body start feeling so much better energy hormones mental clarity you name it okay so now why do you crave chocolate before your period? And that's a simple answer. And that's because cacao, which is the bean that makes, is used to make chocolate, is one of the highest and richest magnesium foods you can find out there. So that's why your body craves it, which is actually amazing. And the thing is that most of the women I work with and a lot, almost everyone in the Western world has a magnesium deficiency. And that's why your body craves it. And it craves it more during the luteal phase because magnesium, it's so good for many things. It is good for lowering your stress. It is good for preventing cramping, for migraines. So that's why you start craving it before your period throughout your luteal phase, okay? so. Why we have a deficiency in magnesium? Well, first of all, because even though you, you can buy organic and all that, our soil is not as rich in magnesium as it once was. So that's one of the reasons. Two, let's face it, not a lot of people have a lot of almonds or greens in their diet, avocados, you know? So even though, or even though you have them, remember, again, they are not super concentrated in magnesium anymore, sadly. It's a lot of production now. So those are the reason and also the reasons <laughs> and also because magnesium gets depleted from our bodies when our cortisol is high again cortisol our stress hormone when we're stressed that magnesium gets used to for the adrenals to support the adrenal glands right which are the ones that are involved in stress and so on and so on that's for another day right so that's pretty much why our magnesium and most people experience a deficiency in these um, nutrients, right? So when you crave chocolate, that's what your body is telling you. So it's okay to have chocolate, but if you're gonna have chocolate, make sure it's dark chocolate. For me, I would say 100% cacao, it's the way to go, but if you love milk chocolate and for you the 100% it's just like completely out of the question, then slowly start getting into a darker chocolate. And why do you need to eat dark chocolate? Well, first of all, because like milk chocolate has milk, which usually and most of the times is not that great for balancing your hormones. And two, because it has so much more sugar and sugar promotes inflammation. And when there's inflammation, it affects your hormones, just to name the list, okay? So that's what we wanna focus on a darker chocolate. So start going moving up the scale maybe start with um 50 and so on until you get into the 70 and 100 range because that's the one you can have throughout 
that luteal phase without kind of sabotaging all the work you've been doing, you know? So that's one thing. Two, you can always and most of the times I usually also suggest the magnesium supplement. So there are several types of magnesium. There are two of the most popular ones. One is magnesium citrate. So magnesium citrate, it's a little harsher on your stomach. And if you have a sensitive stomach, it might make you go to the bathroom more. So it kind of affects your digestion and so on. So the citrate, again, it's harsher. The one that I usually suggest taking is glycinate. So the magnesium glycinate, it helps, it's more, like, more absorbable in your body, it's less harsh in your stomach, it doesn't give you kind of like the, I wanna go to the bathroom right now, feel like the citrate does. Like, it's just so good and so nourishing for your body. And because it gets absorbed really good, then it helps your hormones, it helps your sleep, it helps your adrenals, it helps lowering your stress um, levels, like your cortisol, and, the thing is like nowadays we're all stressed in some way, whether it's the house, the job, like relationships, whether you're like working out, like hit trainings uh, because like a ton of exercise does stress your body. So we need that support, that extra support that we cannot get from food anymore. So that's the brand I suggest. I'm gonna link below uh, um, some of the supplements I recommend, magnesium supplements, because it's very, very important, the quality of supplement that you buy. So I'll leave the link below. If you're in Canada, I think you can get like 15% off that supplement. Um, you can always take the photo to your health food store and show it there and hopefully they have it. So that's the one I recommend. So that's the reason why you crave chocolate and why it is so cool. So once you start taking a supplement, and I usually suggest one at lunch, two before bed, just to help with the sleep, you're gonna see how much better you sleep, how much less cravings you get throughout your luteal phase, like chocolate cravings, which is a good thing too, because again, if you cannot handle 100% cacao, then it's better not to have a ton of chocolate, which I'm not telling you not to have because um, I love chocolate, just like, measure it more you know so um yeah that's it with that again remember if you feel off if you feel like something's going on with your body if you think there are your hormones a great and expensive way to go with it's seed cycling so again you can go to the link in my bio grab that freebie it honestly it's super easy to do if you have any questions you tell me but that's one thing you can start today to see a big improvement but again a consistency is the key okay so i'll talk to you guys later